Alrighty, welcome to Auction Not Included. Today I like to talk about mods, give you a short introduction to them and then show you some of my favorites. First, I need to answer the question of what mods are. Well, they are free of charge additions to the game that are mostly developed by the community and add different features or functionalities in the form of buildings, tools or game mechanics. As helpful as they are, mods can also be a source of trouble sometimes, although rarely. However, I need to say that you have to mod at your own risk. It is possible to break your save game, so make sure you back up everything first. Another thing to take into consideration, especially for heavy modders out there, is that mods can lead to your game crashing for no reason. This could happen because of a faulty mod, for example, when two or more mods are incompatible with each other and throw exceptions. But don't let all of this scare you away because mods could be a great addition to the game. To download a mod, first go to the Steam store page, then next navigate to the workshop. There you will see all available mods for download, and after you have selected your favorites, go to the, that mods page and click on subscribe. The mod will be then added automatically to your game, and you will be able to find it inside Steam Downloads under the name Oxygen Not Included Workshop Content. Now that the mod has been downloaded, it is still not ready to use. Next, you need to activate it inside the game. So go to Mods, and from the menu, select each mod you wish to activate. Finally, click OK, and you will be asked to restart the game. Once that is completed, your mod has been activated and you can now use it in-game. Now, I'd like to give you some mod recommendations and also show you some of my favorites so far. I will split them into three categories. First one is for mods that keep the game authenticity. Mods that will not influence the game or your colony directly, but will add some features that would save you just some time. The second category is game tweaks. Here I'll put all the mods that will add new game mechanics or add structures that will have a medium to high impact on your colony. And finally, the third category is aesthetic. Those are mods that will add features to the game that will have minimum to no impact on the gameplay and will influence it aesthetically only. Alright, and now here is the list of my favorite mods. I will begin with Blueprints. Shown in my previous videos, this mod allows you to quickly create a blueprint of all or some buildings inside your mouse selection, to simply copy and paste entire rooms to a different spot on the map and create the build and dig orders necessary. It comes in handy in situations where you want to build many of the same rooms, replicate setups or designs and don't want to go through the struggle of placing everything one by one. This mod adds also three different tools to the instrument section at the bottom right corner. New Blueprint, Use Blueprint and Snapshot 2. They do exactly what the title suggests. When creating a new blueprint, you can give it a custom name. Then navigate through your existing list with the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard to use a blueprint. The Snapshot 2, the one with the icon resembling a camera, is there to quickly duplicate and paste designs elsewhere without cluttering your existing list of blueprints. Finally, the best part of all of this is that all created blueprints are written in separate files, allowing you to import and export them and then share your designs with others. Like many other players, I wish there were a meter option for a blueprint, but since not all buildings inside the game can be rotated, this could be an issue. And quite frankly, this may be the reason it has not yet been implemented and may not ever be. Second on the list is pliers. Hands down, one of the simplest but very smart additions to the game that has just saved me from my own clumsiness. The pliers mod is extremely useful for splitting everything from pipes to wires. No need to go over the tedious effort of deconstructing whole joints and constructing them again. It works for constructed or non-constructed objects and can split all kinds of wires, liquids and gas pipes and even conveyor rails. To use it, just select pliers from the instrument menu at the bottom right corner and go to the corresponding layout of the utilities that you wish to separate. Click and drag over them to remove the existing connections inside the dragged area. The only thing missing in my opinion is a hotkey 
Although the altars themselves have pointed out that a such key binding is missing in order to prevent issues for non-US keyboard users. Third one on the list is the drag tool area. This is a great mode for visualizing the area of your selection when digging and planning your base. With this, you can make sure your barracks, farms or other rooms are the precise size you want. The mod also displays the selection dimensions in the info card right next to your cursor, adding a redundancy to the numbers inside the dragged area. Overall, great simple small addition to the game. Number 4 is Sweep by Type. The Sweep by Type mod allows you for a greater control over the resources scattered around the floor of your base. I myself have been many times in the situation where I'm trying to sweep one specific resource from the floor and leave the rest behind. With this you can now choose precisely what element to collect and have your duplicates deliver it to your storages without wasting time for unnecessary sweep errands. Number 5 is Build Over Plants. This small addition to the game makes it so that you can place buildings on top of plants and automatically create the uproot order. When planning your base and expanding outwards, wild plants won't allow you to place buildings on top of them, making it so that you have to go with a duplicate, dig the plant manually and then later place your buildings. And with this mod, all of these acrobatics are avoided. Number 6 is the bigger camera zoom out. The final mod on this list will make it possible to zoom out during the game way further than what is originally allowed. This will give you a better overview of your base. The mod also allows scrolling outside of the map edges by making the corners easier to access while building or digging. Oh, and originally, going that far out is only allowed in debug or screenshot mode only. Okay, not to make this video too long, I am going to end it here and we'll follow with a second part. If you have a topic that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. But for now, thanks for watching. Ciao, see you soon.